we're being asked to integrate and it appears that use substitution is the way to go. Uh, why? Whenever you have something under a square root, it's a good idea to let that be your u. I mean, that's a good first bet. And if you think about tangent, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So um, u substitution seems like a very good strategy. So let's try it. So we'll set u equal to the tangent of 4x. And then we'll compute du. So du, well, the derivative of tangent is secant squared. So this is secant squared 4x times the derivative of the inside, right? We have to use the chain rule, so that's a 4 dx. Now we almost have what we want. Here we have secant squared dx, secant squared of 4x dx, uh, but here we have the extra 4. So we'll divide by the 4. So we get du over 4 equals, well, these cancel, and then we have secant squared of 4x dx. And now we are ready to do it. Right? We're ready to make the substitution. It could be helpful to think of du over 4 as 1 fourth du before you make the substitution. Uh, that helps some people. Okay, so this whole thing will be equal to 1 fourth, right? pull the numbers out, square root of u du. That's it, right? Because all of this is equal to 1 fourth du. And so what we did was we took the 1 fourth outside, and then this here, this was u. So we have the square root of u. To integrate this, it's convenient to write the square root of u as u to the 1 half, so that we can use the power rule. Then this becomes 1 fourth u to the 3 halves, and we're dividing by 3 halves, so that's the same thing as multiplying by 2 thirds, right? When you divide by 3 halves, you multiply by the reciprocal of 3 halves, which is 2 thirds, plus c. This is equal to, let's see, 2 over 12, and u was the tangent of 4x, so it's the tangent to the 3 halves of 4x plus c. Are we done? No way, no way. 2 over 12 is 1 over 6. Uh, don't forget that part. That would be a shame to do all that hard work and forget to simplify. Uh, 2 over 12 is equal to 1 sixth. And that's the answer. I guess the moral is whenever you have something being raised to a power or you have a square root, usually use substitution uh, is a good first attempt.